Hey there, I'm Harvey from Elixirnode, and today I'm going to be showing you the basics on how to run a successful Minecraft server. We're going to be going through five topics, choosing the game mode, choosing the hosting, creating the server and finding players to play on your server. For step one, you're going to have to choose the game modes. There are many game modes to choose from when you create your Minecraft server, but it's important to know which game modes are trending for your server to get maximum popularity. However, popularity isn't everything, so I'd recommend that you choose a game mode that you truly have a passion for and base it around that. It will help you so much more in the long run. There are many popular game modes such as Factions, Creative, Survival, Skybox, Prisons and Minigames. However, for this tutorial, I'm going to be creating a faction server, which by the way, we also have a separate tutorial and a website guide for, which you can find in the description, which shows you how to set up a basic faction server for 1.8. If you'd like to find out more about these game modes that I listed a second ago, head into this article down below, or read them from on screen now. Okay, so for step two, you're going to choose your hosting. When you choose what type of hosting and which type of hosting plan you're going to have, it's important to know what type of server you are running. You need to take into consideration how many plugins you will have and how many players will be playing and many more things. Here at Elixir Node, we offer dedicated hosting and Minecraft server hosting. To the typical person, our dedicated hosting may seem a bit expensive, however we recommend that you use dedicated servers when your server starts to make enough money, which will be typically around 30 to 50 and above consistent players. Otherwise, for now, I recommend that you use our Minecraft server hosting, which I will be using today. When you create your Minecraft server, you need to think what goal you want from that server. Do you want a community? Do you want to make money? Or do you just want to have overall fun with your friends? It doesn't entirely matter what your goal is right now, but it's important not to just focus on that goal, but use it as a motivation whenever running the server gets tough, which unfortunately, at times it will be tough, as running a Minecraft server is extremely difficult. Yeah, I've done it too. Builds are also really important on your Minecraft server. When someone joins your Minecraft server, the first thing they're going to see is your spawn, which will be the first impression of your server, which could actually be the most important. Imagine you log onto a Minecraft server and see this. That's going to make you want to leave, right? Yeah. But now you imagine you log onto a Minecraft server and see this glorious thing. You're going to have a much better first impression and you might stay even longer. Therefore, it's important to invest in builds wherever you can. Even if you and your friend build it, or you hire a professional build team to build it for you. You may want to download maps, however we recommend that the main buildings like the hub are made custom, as it will seem a lot more unique to the server. However, you may not have the budget to do this, so maybe downloading maps is the only route you can take for now. Plugins are quite interesting. Downloading public plugins from places like Spigger MC is normally safe and good, and it can fill most of your needs. However, we recommend that if you have a higher budget, you should invest in custom development, which would allow your server to appear more unique and therefore much more enjoyable. Running mods and plugins is not typically recommended for Minecraft servers. However, if you just want to run mods only, we recommend that you do not make the server public and only make it for friends or a community of friends. To run your Minecraft server, you're of course going to need quite a bit of money, and you're going to have to do this through monetization. This will allow you to earn money back from your Minecraft server and maybe make a profit. We recommend that you use Tebex, also known as Bycraft, to create a store for your players. But alternatively, you can use Crafting Store. However, we do not recommend that. Putting ads on your Minecraft server to monetize is not genuinely recommended by us and it won't generate much for you. But make sure when you're making money to follow the EULA while doing this. And unfortunately, if you're going to run a Minecraft server, you're going to have to have quite a high budget. But with all businesses, spending money makes money. For a public server, this is especially true because paying for all the server costs is very important and a higher budget would allow you to have lots more options. But if you want to run a small community or a server of friends, you don't need a lot of money. You can just choose some of our lower priced Minecraft server hosting. And finally, getting players onto your Minecraft server. There are so many ways to get attention to your Minecraft server, but I personally think that the best way to get them would be through server slots. Server slots are when you put your Minecraft server onto all the popular Minecraft server lists like this, this and this. You can reward your players by voting for your server which will boost it through keys and many other rewards. We typically recommend server slots for bigger servers, however it is an option that you can consider for yourself. Word of mouth is also where you can spread your server, however I don't think it's really effective. You can tell your friends who will hopefully have such an amazing experience on your server 
that they will tell their friends and the cycle will just repeat. But that requires a lot of people and a bit of luck, but it's worth a shot. Search engine optimization for Minecraft servers isn't rewarding enough to do, but we recommend it for larger servers in order to keep growing. Lastly, social media is an absolute great way to grow your server. Getting an account and actively posting will get an outreach to many people on social media who enjoy Minecraft. When it comes to paid ads, we do not typically recommend them. We do, however, recommend that you take the sponsorship route. In our experience, this has been the best way you can get a return on your investment. However, it is quite costly. Getting streamers to play on your Minecraft server would be great for a brand new server and it will boost it straight away. Make sure to sponsor creators that will be in it for the long run also. Anyways, thanks for watching our guide on how to start a successful Minecraft server. And if you have any further questions, make sure to contact us through the link in the description or the link that's on screen now. Have fun creating your server and goodbye.